Dr. Pimple Popper treats a patient whose cyst can be best described as... It's like a mango chutney. Never, ever, ever, ever describe it as food. New today. The following program contains images of an actual surgical procedure that may be graphic and disturbing. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. Dr. Lee is known to many of us as Dr. Pimple Popper, and she has millions of fans online. <laughs> she's, more I'm, to, like she's more to me than just a Pimple Popper. Oh, she is to me as well. But we actually have one of her biggest fans who works on our show. Her name is Karen. Karen is in charge of our social media um, as a social media producer. She's joining us today because she had a lingering skin issue of her own. Welcome, Karen. Thank Good to you. see you. Yes. So you had a little something. I did. I had like a lumpy bump thing on my back and it was kind of like halfway up and it felt like a little golf ball. First initially it didn't really bother me that much but then I kind of when I would sleep on it and lay on it it would sort of hit me in the muscle and it would hurt a little bit. I'd wake up with like a you know some pain. And you thought who better to see than Dr. Than Dr. Dr. <laughs> um, I didn't even mean to rhyme that but that's what happened Dr. Lee and uh, she saw Karen. Take a look. So let's take a look at your bump, okay? Okay, shall we? Let's have you stand up for me. You look like you have a lipoma here, okay? Which is a benign growth, it's not a cyst. It's pretty common to get these kinds of growths. So feel around to see where the borders are, just so I can approximate. Really nice, we're probably gonna give it a little squeeze while we while we do it, this is a little wider area. Okay. okay. Transmit the sensation of pain. So I can see where the fat starts to like that. Squeeze it and they just pop out. So I'm going a bit. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Just double check that I got all of it though, because it's one that's kind of stuck to her. So fat little blob. You get little pieces. So Karen's procedure was pretty straightforward. We'll check it under the microscope to confirm, but I'm pretty sure that it's a lipoma and that it's nothing to worry about. like mango chutney. I didn't really have like a name when it was in, but when it came out, I was like, it's like a mango chutney with some chicken fat. So mango. Well, that one was interesting, but apparently we have another uh, I in do. terms of a viral pimple <gasps> right. video. Some of our more popular videos are oh. cysts, and this I call the Bermuda Triangle of cysts because he came in with three of them in a triangle, and so we popped them all out. And oh. they were really, they've been there for years. So yeah, we have to squeeze them. So just macerated keratin. It's just uh, wet skin. Sandra, that, to me, that looks like polenta. Yeah, like polenta, like egg whites, oh like boy, mashed potatoes. Smells Stop like food. It. You <laughs> never, ever, ever, ever describe it as food. It, it is like food. We always do. We always do. We should give us some mashed potatoes right now. You can't. Polenta. Yeah, that's what it looked like. Just to talk a little bit about tumors and lumps and yes. bumps. For people that have had a discrete, movable mass like that for mm -hmm. years, most likely it's it's benign. Most likely slow growing, very movable. Those but are all never key know signs. You never sure, know right? exactly unless you remove it. So removing something is both therapeutic and and diagnostic. Exactly. And for, yes. if, if you have any question about something, a growth, don't ignore it. Absolutely, and absolutely. Go see your your. And your sometimes it's as simple as a, a I would call it a, a one minute solution. I mean, how mm -hmm. quickly you're able to cure. Absolutely. People. Sometimes it's very quick. Thank very you. Impressive. Thank you. Karen, thank you for sharing thank your you. life homo with us. Thanks, Karen. Thank you. We'll be right back.